guys, so I'm back um, in our house. Shing and I went out to read. Yeah, we both read. We didn't plan to read there, just I planned to work and edit and film. I was gonna film a video, but then it was kind of noisy in the cafe, so I just read Harry Potter and I'm now halfway through the book and I'm just so happy because it's taking me such a long time. I'm just glad that I'm already halfway. I have been annotating there and I'm gonna show a time lapse of that. that time lapse on my Instagram but then a lot of you have been asking me what I annotated and you want to see what's inside there so I am planning to make an annotation video a whole detailed one but I'm just gonna show you some of the pages that I annotated today because you guys were curious so the book that I read was yeah Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix this was the previous book which is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I annotated a lot here my three ships were quite active here especially the first two so my ultimate ship is Dramini my second one is Kermione and the third one is just a very small ship It's Hermione so yeah I've been shipping Hermione with everyone but I just think that they're such cute pairs and yeah these long um, paper tabs are actually for Hermione because I just adore them I mean first my main OTP is Hermione but yeah in this book a lot of Hermione happened I wanted to film this video like a long time ago <laughs> And I might still do it if I get the time to plan it. I think I just don't like to plan that much. That's why I'm gonna like vlog when I review books from now on. I don't wanna finish the whole book and then talk about it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be vlogging through the whole read. But I already finished this and I use this as an example for my annotation class. So I've got like notes here. So it looks a lot. And then here is my new one just my current read so not as much as the first one but I'll be showing you some examples of how I annotate but I'm gonna explaining my system in a whole other video so this is what I read today and I didn't really annotate this much with this book as you can see I've just been making like comments so the way that I annotate is that I have a color-coded system. I'll be explaining that more in my updated version of my annotation video. I won't be talking about that, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. If I think that there's some dialogues that I really like or some important things, so I highlight that one. And even the highlights have um, certain meanings. So if I'm gonna comment something, which is which cannot fit the margins because as you can see there's so little space for the margins so I use a post-it so this is a like a medium-sized post-it note and yeah so some comments here um, yeah so have another comment there um, there are some written ones and there are some posted ones so it's good this one is because it's just a short one so I just wrote it directly on my book sometimes I do um, underline something highlights are m like more important I would highlight something that would make me grab my attention if I like reread it or something and then these ones are just like points that I should just take note but they're not really that important but still like clues for um, the plot or something so yeah basically I'm just commenting like like I'm talking to the book so if I have longer things to comment sometimes just like that like LMAO same yeah it's not too much you guys probably think that I'm like so intellectual with all the um, literary devices and everything but no not at all so just some comments here and there yeah some questions maybe I would um, draw some comparisons between the book and the movie because I think I did that 
So yeah, some comments again and a few highlights. You'd think that I was doing a lot, but not so much. Okay, just yeah, basically guys, there's no such thing as right or wrong when you're annotating. But yeah, if you want my detailed version of annotating, because this is just annotating for fun, I would show you my Frankenstein book because that is a book that I annotated for schoolwork. So let me show you how I annotated the Goblet of Fire. This one is more annotated and I drew some comparisons in everyday life, like relatable stuff. Yeah, these are like more detailed. I really paid attention to this. Then to my current read, I'm not as connected as much. I just like enjoy reading it. But yeah, so let's go to some of the, yeah, I have longer notes here. And I really like immerse myself in the plot. But for my current read, it's because I'm still intimidated um, by the size of it. So I don't know, I can't. So you can see this one is, this one is amazing. I have my ship here. And then reasons why you hate Snape. Snape is just evil. Okay, so like I know what happens to Snape. I know his backstory, but still doesn't justify the, the fact that he bullied um, Harry Potter. Oh yeah, so I have some Hermione stuff there. Sometimes it's just like hashtags. It's not honestly, it's not much. So yeah, a lot of you wanted to see <laughs> how I annotate my book. So there you go. But I will be again diving into a more detailed video about it. So just stay tuned for that one because I will be planning it and hopefully it'll be more complete. So I hope you guys like this sneak peek. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did today. I read Harry Potter and tonight I'm going to be filming a YouTube video which will be up this week and hopefully read some more of my Harry Potter so I could finish it. If you guys want to know more and if you have specific videos that you want me to do just comment down below and i'll be sure to take note of those <laughs> please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video bye